Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna show how to use the stabilization tool within Final Cut Pro. So we've got a few different sequences set up here. We're gonna have a look at how this works in landscape and portrait, and also talk about the different translation that we can do in the built-in stabilization within Final Cut Pro. So first things first, we're gonna stabilize a piece of footage in kind of your regular landscape format or horizontal. So we're gonna grab this video of this gent walking his dog on the beach, and we'll drag this down to our timeline. And if we play this through, then you'll see there's a little bit of shakiness. The camera is obviously handheld as they're walking along. And so every now and then you get this really rough shake. So basically we're gonna have a look at how we can stabilize that within Final Cut Pro. So the first thing to do is to bring up your inspector at the top right. So if you don't see your inspector, go to Window, Show in Workspace and turn on the inspector. So you can see this will toggle it on and off. And you can also use this button up at the top right to do the same thing. So we can reveal and hide the inspector up at the top right. So with the clip selected, you can see in our video options, the first tab here, as we come down, we have this stabilization option. Really easy, we're just gonna check that on and let Final Cut Pro analyze for the dominant motion. So it's gonna look at that smoothing it needs to do on the video and pick out the best option for that. So the automatic smoothing here has picked out the smooth cam option, which you can see in the drop downs now as we get that. So if we jump to smooth cam, you can see it's basically the same options that we have here. We'll just leave it on automatic for the moment. And so basically you can slide these sliders up and down to do more or less stabilization. So if we play this through, we'll just see what Final Cut Pro has given us from the get go. And it's done a reasonable job there. There's a little bit of wobble in the video. And the way that you can try and remove some of that if you get some wobble in the stabilization is just to dial these down a bit until you get something you're happy with. So you can play around with these sliders. So the translation is adjusting the amount of horizontal and vertical stabilization. The rotation smooth is adjusting the amount of stabilization for the rotation of the camera. And the scale smooth is adjusting the zoom. So we don't really need too much scale smooth. This is a pretty kind of flat shot, um, but there might be a little bit of rotation in those shakes and a little bit of translation as well. So we'll just see if this gets rid of a bit of that wobble so that's looking pretty smooth. Now, the important thing to remember here is that we only need to really get that smooth shot for maybe three to five to six seconds for a lot of our editing. You know, that will be enough. We know that the guy is walking along the beach with his dog. We can cut that at that point. So really you're looking for a, a section of this video that is running smooth. So we still get a bit of kind of strange wobble at the beginning, but after that, the shot becomes much smoother. So we need to just think about how we can trim that down. So making some of those editing decisions there will be important. So let's have a look at what happens when we really ramp these up. So if we just take the translation smooth and push this right up, we'll see how good a job Final Cut Pro does of smoothing this out to the max, if you like. So we'll play this through. And actually, that's not too bad for parts of it. We can still see this kind of like little wobble, almost as if somebody is kind of wobbling a piece of glass in front of us, but there's some nice smooth bits of that and it's doing pretty well in parts of it. If we push up the rotation smooth, we're not really getting too much change in some parts of this video. The video looks to be pretty flat for the most part. You can see it's rotating a little bit there. And then for the scale, if we push this up, then we're getting quite a lot of movement there. So we'll just see how this works with these all dialed right up to the top. So there's some one or two second moments of this that are looking pretty nice. So we do have uh, some usable footage in there that's working pretty nicely, but there's still some strange parts where it's wobbling a bit. So you have to make a judgment about which bits of the clip you're gonna trim down. Let's have a look at a different video here. So we're gonna have a look at a video that is gonna zoom in. So we'll come to this new sequence and Obviously you can stabilize footage in the horizontal or the vertical format. So we'll drag this down to our vertical video. So if you're creating an Instagram story or reel or something like that, then you may want a vertical video. And you can see when we play this through, there's a little bit of movement that we don't want in there. We want to smooth that out just a little bit. Sometimes it's not a good idea to try and get rid of all the movement, but oftentimes you'll want to try and just smooth it out a little bit to make it a little bit easier on the eyes. So we'll select stabilization here and then we'll just let this analyze. So now that's analyzed, we'll play this through. We'll just stretch out our window a bit more so we're seeing a bit more of that video. Play this through. 
and you can see we're getting that little bit of strange wobble up here in the top of our building. So there's two options here for our stabilization. One is smooth cam and one is inertia cam. And the idea of inertia cam is that it's better for some of these video clips that are zooming or moving within the clip. So we'll just play this through and we only have one slider for smoothing this out. So we'll just ramp this up to two and then play this through. Now if we compare the inertia cam, so we'll play this through. That's looking pretty nice until the end there when we get some real strange moments up in the, the kind of roof here. But for the most part, from here to here, it's looking reasonable. Now if we jump to the smooth cam or the automatic settings and then play this through, you can see we're getting a lot more wobble up here. So the smooth cam is creating a bit more of this wobble, whereas the inertia cam seems to be doing a bit of a better job. Now, one thing to note about this video, we think about the different formats or different deliverables you might have. We've got this stabilization on here, and this is looking pretty good around the center of the video. So if we're stabilizing for different formats, I'm just gonna copy this. So we'll go to edit and copy, and we'll jump into this square timeline. We'll paste this in, and I'm gonna get this to fill here. So if we play this through now, That's looking pretty nice and smooth. So let's just compare these two side by side. So the one with the stabilization and the one without the stabilization. So here, I'm just gonna duplicate this. So once we've got these layered up, I'm just gonna copy both of these and we'll come back to our landscape clip here and we'll just paste them in on the timeline. And then I'm gonna get these here. Instead of fill, I'll get them to fit. And basically I'm just gonna use the transform options here to put them side by side. So we have the stabilized version with the inertia cam on the right and the unstabilized version on the left. So we'll just play this through and compare these two videos. So on the left hand side we have the unstabilized version, on the right hand side we have the stabilized version and you can see Final Cut Pro has done a pretty good job of creating a nice smooth motion using the inertia cam for this video. If we do the same for our dog video here, We'll just duplicate that and turn off the stabilization here. Um, actually, we'll dial these down a bit to the, the default, so somewhere around 1.52. And this one, the top one, we've turned our stabilization off. Just gonna reduce the scale of both of these by 50%. And we'll just pop these side by side. So this is our unstabilized version on the left and our stabilized version on the right. Just drag this out so we can see them a bit bigger. So let's play this through. So you can see that heavy shakiness of the camera has been almost completely removed in the video on the right. We might get a little bit of that wobble, but it's still a much better shot than we originally had, much more usable shot. So overall, the Final Cut Pro stabilization, the built-in stabilization, is a really useful tool for anyone who's editing in Final Cut Pro. And I definitely recommend experimenting with it, playing around with the translation, rotation, and scale smooth, or the inertia cam options that you have there in Final Cut Pro. You'll need to kind of move between them to see which will work best for the different bits of footage that you're working with. So hopefully this is a useful tutorial. If you do have any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.